million in the dressing room with the 10,000 more or less like 10,001 maniacs, right? That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> Welcome yeah. to the Jorge Show. This is exciting for us because they don't just yeah. like, you know, they don't just give anybody an interview. So we're so excited to be here. We can't wait to see you on the stage because I have a personal connection with this band. Or we're going to talk about it. So, hi everybody. Hi. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Oh, no problem. I, I first of all um, want to let the viewers know uh, why your new album is so special. Okay. Who, wants, who wants to take a jab at that? Well, it's probably special because it's our first album in 14 years. <gasps> that's amazing. What were you doing this whole time? Living Other than, like, your yeah. hair. <laughs> Growing my hair out. <laughs> turning it gray. Uh, you know, I don't know. We've we been playing. We have been playing. Uh, and we've been writing songs. And you know, the reason we really got to make the record is because we discovered the whole idea of fan funding and, and crowdfunding. Steve found uh, a place called Pledge Music, right, Steve? Pledgemusic.com. Yeah, and that gave us the opportunity to put the financing together to actually get the record made. And, and that came from your fan base. The fans would pledge uh, an amount for a digital download or the, or the physical copy of the CD or um, VIP access to a show, which some people are here tonight for that at the City Winery. And it helped us finance the production and um, of, of the record, recording and, and mastering and all the artwork um, wow. came from fans um, basically pre-ordering the album. Mm -hmm. And see, because a lot of people don't really know, you know, just, you know, of course they see you performing and they think that everything's great, but there's so much to the music industry than just performing on stage, you know? They just think, oh, everything's great, look, they're touring, they're performing, but, you know, is it sometimes difficult, like, you know, as musicians, you just want to play, and then sometimes you get caught up with all of the other stuff that kind of keeps you from doing that? What's, what's great about pledgemusic.com um, and, and fan sourcing is it takes the music industry out of the equation. They're gone. And it's basically, we're, we're going right to the fans. Can we get our boots? I want to make sure we get, look at these boots. Okay, like that right there. She's like, oh yeah, total, like yeah. <laughs> and then music, you got music notes. Love that. <laughs> you like, we're red hot. And she's got fish. I love a lady in fishnet pantyhose. <laughs> I get all caught up in the net. <laughs> no, I'm gonna ride with a chill out. <laughs> so you're gonna get on stage. You're gonna blow everybody away. Now, like sometimes. Do you sometimes like when you're on the stage and like you play a song a certain way, right? Yeah. And I always love it when like you know the musicians kind of change it up. Yeah. But like, have you ever like changed it up without telling everybody else you were gonna change it up? Every night. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> not great. But is he playing? I'm not ready to keep going. But go and smile. That, that happens a lot. Well, no, not too much. Maybe not that. But. Well, it becomes sort of this very unique tritone clashiness. Jazz, we call it. <laughs> I mean, do you have like a, 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 like a code word, or like spider plant, or like, or like a certain kind of like wink, 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 like, you know, like my throat is dry, or my thumb is like, I can't bang anymore. Like, do you like, do you have codes that like, you communicate yeah, it's on stage? No! <laughs> I mean, though we have codes too in TV, I just ignore them. You, know? children. you have children, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have two children. Yeah, everyone has kids, and so, you know, you have, you have your families. But you still wake up every day and you want to continue to well, do that. It's just a lot of fun and it's something when you, when you do it for so long, and you know, I've been playing violin since I was five, it's, it's just it's what you, we are. It's what we all are collectively and individually. And, and it's, you know, it's like breathing, I suppose. Right. You can't help and it. And breathing. It's, it's breathing, breathing. All that yeah. sort of All that. <laughs> you know, and it is fun. Yeah, you know, it is fun. really fun playing music for people. Here. And so yes. I just want to say, uh, say right. uh, from you know, from me and the viewers and the people who support us, thank you for all of your support Equal and rights. support the GLBT and, and the uh, community Equal and rights. equality kind of. Thing. I think that's fantastic. Absolutely. You know, it's um, it's amazing. This is what I tell people. Like in the creative industry, I mean, like, well, who's going to do your hair? <laughs> you know what I mean? Or like, well, who's going to do like... Well, you know, I think, I think part of the reason that we're being so successful now is we finally got a gay manager. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know. And it's yeah, really... I mean, I've never looked so good. That kind of... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're fantastic. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and your 
belt probably matches like the shoe. That's like key. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's key. Except that's for the key. white shirt. You see, it's, it accessorizes <laughs> the key for men. What is on your watch? Oh, it's a monkey. It's a paw. It's a paw. It's like, isn't it cute? Like, I'm like, it reminds me of me. I'm like, I go crazy on a monkey. I'm like, oh. You know, and I can just kind of like. <laughs> you are watching Happy Hour on the Horror Show. Yes, sir. We can all groom each other. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a grooming party yes. after this. Yes, equal equality grooming for everybody right. with this band. You're watching the Horror Show, and I'm having a happy hour, the happiest of hours, with the 10,000 Maniacs. And I'm going to say 10,001 because I want to feel like I'm a part of their you are. too. You are. And have a great show tonight. Have a nice Welcome to the City Water Radio. Without further ado, it is my pleasure to bring out 10,000 Maniacs.